Now, Trudy is here to share the latest wonder wands to enhance your smallest assets. <laughs> Mascara is what we're talking about. It is the hardest working beauty item. And once you find a good one, it is a keeper. Morning, Trudy. Morning, how are you? Very, very well. Good. Mascara is something I'm not particularly good with. So where do you start? looking we'd start shopping for a mascara I think the best thing to do is the smaller the lashes the smaller the wand because what you want to do is use something that's like a, almost like a comb or a fan to try and build up some lash and the longer the lashes the fatter the wand okay. so it's all about the wand I mean the formulas differ they do some offer volume separation length but really it's the brush that makes the difference. The brush is the big deal. That's the big deal. That's where all the squillions are spent, sort yeah. of developing that oh, special bit. And the technology going into them is just incredible. So wh what are your best tips <clears> then <throat> to apply it without smudging? Because this is somewhere I fall down. In. Yeah, people rush mascara. It's like the last thing you do. Um, I think what you need to do is slow down and, and apply it in coats. So I always tilt my head backwards and get the wand and actually place it right at the roots of the lashes and then wiggle a little bit and then pull it through the, to the ends. You don't want a lot of mascara on the ends of your lashes because they end up gluing together and looking like you've got one lash. Yeah. So you want to get most of the product at the root, so tilt your head back. Another little tip is if you wear glasses, get a magnifying mirror and tilt your head forward. Apply the bottom first, wait for it to dry and then put on the top because often you'll put on the top, do the bottom and then you've got those little dots yeah. all around there. So that's also a good tip. How much should you put on the bottom lashes? Well I don't actually put mascara on my bottom lashes very often. I have today but I don't think you really need it. You know. I, that's where I think tinting is great. You know, it's loading up the top lashes and keeping the, the bottom ones looking really fine mm. and a little bit of liner under there is all you need. Especially as you get older, it looks a bit spidery. It looks a bit weird. A bit it? weird. Yeah, and it accentuates fine lines if you're wearing glasses too, if you've got spidery lashes underneath there. Awesome. No one wants that. No. So what is actually in mascara? Look, there's good things and bad things. I don't like waterproof mascara because to make it last, it it uses a refined, some extracts from refined crude oils, so not a lot of great things in waterproof yeah, that mascara. Sound great. No, and if you've got sensitive eyes and you use waterproof mascara and you cut that out of your beauty routine, you'll notice that it's actually nicer on the eyelashes. Good things are the pigments, the oxides, synthetic polymers these days, like they sort of wrap around the lashes and separate them, which is really nice, and. Oils and waxes like um, can, um, canuba oil, um, castor oil, lanolin. So they're, they've actually done a lot of work, beauty companies, to make um, mascara not so dirty in terms of it being a clean beauty product. But the waterproof is where you're going to get you know, things that aren't so good for your eyes. Plus it's hard to get off. You yeah. know, it really is hard to get off. And as I've said before on the show, unless you're caught in the rain or you're sobbing, you don't really need waterproof mascara. Okay. So what have you brought in today? So I've brought in a range. Like I said, it's all about the brush. And I thought I was going to try and match up people's lashes, which yeah. is also okay. difficult with okay. fragrance. But for fine lashes, you can't go past this Dark Magic, which is the um, newest from Max Ooh. Factor. The wand is super clever. It's a comb, so it picks up those tiny, tiny lashes that are in between. I was telling one of the girls before that your lashes do shed naturally, and that's okay, but as they grow, you've got little short ones. Right. So they actually help. If you can get catch those, it actually helps boost volume. So that's a goodie. Glossy, what I like about that is two coats, and it still feels like you're not wearing any mascara. It's really oh, okay. nice and light and glossy. God, I hate that feeling of like heaviness and, in my eyes. And, you know, $35. It's, you know, it's not a massive investment. Bit of a bargain. Well, what about this, this one? This next one, I actually Ooh. used it this morning, is the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. Now this is great for long lashes like yours where you just want to give some beautiful definition and load them up with a bit of mascara to add volume. The, f the brush has got double bristles. It's got a smaller one and a longer one, so again it helps boost volume. Okay, good. Um, this one from NARS, um, it's called Climax. Right. Is, yeah. You don't have to whisper that. It's all right. <laughs> so <laughs> this one is called Climax Mascara. It's got a ribbed bristle. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and it apparently coats the lashes, gives intense volume and bold glossy shine. Okay then. And so finally, it's, it's a good one. Here. And finally, I bought this one in. Look, this I've been buying online for years. It's um, Giorgio Armani's mascara. It's called Eyes to Kill. And I'm a lash extension survivor, so that has actually helped nourish the lashes. It's a really good one. And now you can buy it at Smith & Coey. They've got a nice new Luxie counter. So it's now in New Zealand. You don't have to buy it online anymore. Excellent. Good to know. Hey, Trudy, always fun having you in. Thank you for that. Thank you for that insight into mascara. Now, for more from Trudy, you can head to her website, bdeq.co.nz.